I get asked a lot of questions by a lot of people. What do I have to do to put on a lot of muscle really fast? What does it take to put on that quality muscle? Do I need to take something? Do I need to change something? What do I have to do? Well, I'm gonna tell you what you have to do coming up right after this. Hey guys, I'm Coach P and I'm here to answer your question. A lot of people come up to me in the gym and say, how do I put on all of this good quality muscle? Or why am I not putting on all this good quality muscle? What do I need to do? What do I need to take? Well, there's a lot of answers for those questions and there's a lot of misinformation that people get, whether they're looking on the internet or they're asking the other knuckleheads in the gym. I'm here to tell you the truth about how to put on good quality muscle. And the first place to put on good quality muscle is by following a good quality diet. Diet is everything. You can't come into the gym and train. Really, if you're training your ass off, that's a good thing. But you can't come in here and train your ass off and then leave the gym and go screw it up by having a bad diet. You cannot out-train a bad diet. You just can't. What you do outside of the gym is more important diet-wise than what you do inside the gym. You have to get the right amount of sleep, a good six to eight hours. You have to follow a good, high-quality diet. Stay away from the processed foods. Stay away from the sugars. Stay away from the alcohol. Eat high-protein, moderate, complex carbohydrate intake, and a good quality fat intake from good quality fats. An example would be avocados. I eat one avocado a day. It's absolutely delicious. Diet is everything when it comes to putting on muscle in the gym. And when you're in the gym, you have to know how to train correctly. You just can't come in here and start slinging weights as heavy as you can and your six to eight rep nonsense. You got to come in here and train with the mindset that you're here to get a skin splitting pump. In other words, you should be training with moderate weight that you can handle for very high repetitions. And I'm talking over the 15 repetition range. Myself and my training partner, we train to failure on every exercise. Now failure is different for everybody and failure is gonna be determined on the amount of weight you're using. So we don't train heavy. Now, he trains heavier than I do because he's 30 years younger than me. But we train heavy where we can get the high repetitions, whether it's gonna be a high repetition set or it's gonna be a high repetition drop set. We're constantly keeping the muscle under tension, going into that high rep range and going into that pain zone on every set that we're doing. There's very little rest between sets. We're not wandering around the gym wondering what exercise we're going to next. We have a predetermined plan in our head. Today we're doing chest. If we're gonna superset, he's gonna start on one exercise, I'm gonna start on the other, and we're gonna alternate back and forth with no rest between sets. That's how you keep the maximum amount of blood in the muscle. And that's what you're in the gym for, to get that skin splitting pump. You're not gonna get it resting two, three, and four minutes between sets or scrolling through your phone, trying to change up the songs, or trying to find some exercise on, on, a, on a YouTube video, what, what I'm gonna do for chest next. You should already know what you're gonna do when you get to the gym. And once you get to the gym, you execute the plan. And you gotta train the right way. You have to have the mind-muscle connection. You have to be able to control the repetitions you have to be able to engage your muscles, muscle engagement on every repetition, squeezing the muscles during the repetitions. Not just slinging weights. Look, I'm doing 80 pounds. Look at me in 60 pound curls and I'm swinging like a fucking pendulum. That's not muscle engagement, that's body momentum. In order to put good quality muscle on, you have to train correctly. Muscle engagement, mind muscle connection put your mind into the muscle group that you're training tone out all the external distractions and concentrate on what you're doing progressive overload call it whatever you want that shit never existed back in the day it was always high reps high reps to failure all this 
special terms and all these little spin-offs on all these different types of training. Just get in the gym and train. It's all about training to get the pump. High reps, high rep drop sets, limited rest between sets is what's gonna stimulate muscle growth. And the most important fact is what you do outside of the gym in your diet. Everyone's diet's gonna be different depending on your age and your metabolism. If you're an older guy, like myself, I'm 59, my metabolism's not as fast as it was when I was in my younger, my younger years. It just isn't, it's a part of getting older. So I've adjusted my type of diet. I follow a good keto diet. My complex carbs are next to nothing except vegetables. And I eat those a few times a week. I like to follow the, the keto slash carnivore diet. That allows me to burn my body fat and maintain my 265 pound muscular stature. If you're on the lean side, you gotta consume more calories. If you want to gain muscle, there's a formula behind it. One gram of protein per pound of muscle. Sometimes 1.2, 1.3. Some guys even say two grams. But two, two grams of protein on a 200 pound guy, that's 400 grams of protein. That's a lot of food. You're going to be eating all day long. I don't recommend that. I recommend one gram of protein per pound of body weight. And that should be suffice. That really should be sufficient enough for you to reach your goal, building muscle and burning fat. Diet is everything. If I learned one thing from Bob Gruskin, who was my coach back in the 80s, and he was the guru in the sport back in then, before the word guru existed in the sport, was diet is everything. <clears throat> you can't out-train a bad diet. You just can't. And I used to get a little chubby in the off-season, and he used to say, you know, you got, a show, you got a show coming up here in about six, seven months. You better start leaning out now. Oh, no, I'm all right, Bob. I got it. I got it. In the last 16 weeks, I was fucking suffering because I was dieting so hard to get rid of the, the, the unnecessary fat that I put on because, eh, it's not a big deal, Bob. I'll burn it off. Hard lesson learned. But it never happened again because I maintained that lean diet where I put good quality muscle on and I wouldn't get more than 15 pounds out of my competition weight. It made life a lot easier. And I walked around gym looking like I was ready to compete within two weeks because I always had my separation. I always had abs showing. It was a nice thing looking the part all the time. Not being a, a fucking a, a bloated bag of shit carrying on 40 or 50 pounds of excess weight. That's a son of a bitch to lose that 40 or 50 pounds when you're dieting. It's no fun. It's no fun at all. So. What are the secrets of putting on muscle? Or how do I get big really fast? You gotta take it and you gotta swallow the lifestyle. It is not an overnight success story. It is something that you have to live every day. You have to eat that healthy lifestyle every day in order for you to see the benefits here in the gym that will stay with you forever as long as you keep training. So if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment, reach out to me. I got links in my video description. The links are for my training courses. I have very detailed videos on chest and shoulders, back thighs, legs, tries, and forearms. I have videos on the dramatic weight loss and reversing type two diabetes with the keto diet. I did it to myself. I reversed my type two diabetes. I've been medication free for two years and I damn well sure can help you do yours. I also have the comp uh, competition preparation for the competitive bodybuilders. So. If you guys want the help, reach out to me. I have my one-on-one -on -one online coaching. Um, slots are filling fast, so if you want a one-on-one -on -one online coach, you got me, and I will get you to your, uh, your fitness goals. And there's a link for a free PDF file if you're unsure of how to get your fitness journey started. Put your email in that link, and I will send you weekly emails helping to guide you on your fitness journey. So until next time, I'll see you guys back in the gym. Peace out.